already started the unboxing. We're unboxing this new unit. It's called the da, 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 I Doing. So I Doing is a really great brand. We've been checking it out, and I already kind of went through it. So you get this little bezel right there. So this is a universal head unit. So um, any car that has a double dent, this will most likely fit your head unit. Most cars, even the modern cars, have bezels where they adjust all that stuff. So this is a universal kit. Woo, look at this. Ooh, okay. So we got this nice eye doing head unit. Um, it looks clean. Uh, you got the little screen protector. And yeah, they got the little reset button. Really big kind of double din full. Sometimes the cheaper ones will only have a single din, even though it's double din, that's the rear output. Feels very solid, cold to the touch. And um, yeah. A few accessories you get within the box is you're gonna get a microphone, some USBs. Now you get two USBs. One actually has Qualcomm quick charging. So if you ever plug your charger into your AC outlet and you're like, man, this is really slow. I'm only getting like one amps. Well, this one will actually juice it up, give you a little bit quicker charge, which is definitely better. Uh, then you have your um, wiring harness that you plug into the back here. So you plug this in and then you get your particular wiring for your particular unit so if you have a toyota buy the toyota one i'll put some links on toyota some links on general just harnesses for your car and it's pretty much like legos okay maybe not legos but it's pretty much like twist tie so you just match the colors most of the times or match the labels it's actually very simple this also comes with like steering wheel controls and wi-fi gps and the unit's actually very affordable it's about 200 bucks so GPS, Wi-Fi, HD, touchscreen, micro SD slots, still works. It has all pretty much everything you want. And it actually um, supports things like Android Auto and also Apple CarPlay too. So if you're into that, you can do that with this. Another accessory that I want to mention is we also have tire pressure. So yes, it can. if your car doesn't have tire pressures or if it does, have it but it's like the really dumb one when it only shows like tire pressure basically when your tire is flat this one will actually show individual tire pressure so we're gonna be testing that today too uh, last question is does my reverse camera still work you can wire your reverse camera to work so if you have your stock wireless uh, stock wired one you can have it to work or you can have, add your own uh, camera whether you want a camera in the front back rear you know side you can wire additional cameras so we're gonna get into the install. All right, so I just got everything wired. Now this is gonna be a quick job. Um, I have it twist tied and then I put black tape on it. Now you definitely wanna do a heat shrink wrap and solder it for a more permanent solution. But um, this is the way I did it because I generally go through a lot of Android head units because of uh, I kind of buy a lot of them. So anyways, I have a twist tie right here, and remember, if you want to have a good connection, you definitely want to solder, put heat, street, uh, heat wrap on it, heat shrink, to make it super tight and have no interference. Now, uh, with the Toyota ones, or depending on yours, you're going to connect it to your existing harness. So I have, you know, the 10 pin here, and then the 6 pin, this is like power and audio. Um, and then for the steering wheel controls, I have, if you uh, look right here, it says key 1. So key plus, key, just key, and then ground. So these are the three wires that are gonna control the um, steering wheel controls. If you don't have, uh, check with your, um, check with your car to see what wires you need to tap into. It's pretty self-explanatory because there's only three wires. You just have to find those three wires. And I just have it pretty much um, T-tapped to it. Um, there you go. As far as connecting it, okay, so once you have your connectors plugged in, I have radio. So this is radio. This is for the rear audio, left, right. And then this is for the front dimmer switches included, um, power. So this is like the main harness that it has with most of everything. So if you, once you have it all connected, you plug it in here. I know it looks really messy, but if you works with the, uh, if you're pretty organized, it's not going to be too bad. It's, you have to do it hands on. So I plugged it in here, 
that's let's see what happens when I load it up so make sure you definitely want to test it there you go I still have the screen definitely want to keep the screen protector oh it fires up awesome you definitely want to keep this uh, screen protector on there until you actually fully install that way it prevents any scratches so don't remove it just yet so it's booting up um, from what you can tell, it says Android. You can change this to whatever car manufacturer you want or your own, like your custom one. In this case, we're on a Scion TC. So if you want to change it to a Scion TC, you can do that. Yeah, if you have a Buick, you can change that. So everything's working and it looks beautiful. Great interface. You know, you want to kind of want to just test uh, certain things. But uh, yeah, it looks great check that out and it has the radio on deep by default it does have the, the radio on when you f generally some of them have the radio on when you first boot it up so if you hear like a um, like a radio sound make sure um, your radio app isn't open there you go so other than that uh, let's see what else we can talk about we have to add additional features so let's definitely turn off the car so several other things that you want to add is it's going to be USB. So I have a USB connector that's going to allow you to retain your old USB. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, you're so bad. Yeah. Okay. All right. So I have the uh, this came with a it's little USB, it says USB-B. So we're gonna plug this back into USB-B. And this is gonna use the, um, basically this car comes with its own USB down here. So it's gonna be able to still use its original USB with this adapter. Um, so different cars have different adapters. So I'll also link this adapter and other adapters if you are interested. Next off, we have a USB-A, and we want to plug that in so that we can have it. Uh, in this case, we have this USB-A to right here. All right, so we're going to plug this in straight up right here. It's just like Legos. There's a clip right here. You want to plug it in. Make sure it. you, have that, you hear that satisfying click. And lastly, there's the radio antenna. These are the, the GPS and Wi-Fi antenna will also plug in and there's also the microphone so make sure you plug that in. Now you probably noticed this little thing right here. This is the reverse camera and for reverse it's uh, it's going to be this cable right here. Um, let's let's turn on the car and let me kind of show you once you plug it in. So if you threw the car in reverse, if you can step on the brake right there sir. It's gonna automatically pop to the reverse and you're gonna have that that nice reverse screen. So it's gonna be this camera right here. Yeah, that's pretty much it. So um, things are set. Just have to wrap it up, make sure it looks nice and clean and then we can um, show you how it looks. So I'm just gonna wrap it up. All right, so we have it kind of wired. Um, this is how it's gonna fit this. So you can do a little test fit, boom. It's gonna look like something like this. And of course, uh, you can adjust these brackets and stuff. But yeah, it looks really complete. Uh, this is exactly how a Pioneer or Sony head unit will look like. So if you're interested in something like that, that's how we have right here. I also did the liberty of also plugging in the Wi-Fi antenna, which is this kind of like copper looking thing right there. Uh, per the customer, he wanted the, um, Wi-Fi in the dash, so he can, uh, you know, when he wants the extra range, he can just throw it out here. Wouldn't that be amazing? You could get range if you throw it back here. So I did that as well. The GPS antenna is actually really strong. Um, I had good luck of just having it right here, and it picks up antenna problem, antenna signal, no issues. All right, so we have the eye doing head unit looking really clean, really clean interface. Uh, if you guys are looking to buy this one, it's 200 bucks. I'll show you about 200 bucks. Links below where you can get it. Um, yeah, you can. There's a bunch of features. If you have any other questions, links also below on where you can find um, other head units and harnesses. This is a universal head unit, so it will fit pretty much any car uh, universally. That's why it's called universal. Uh, other than that, 
This is the I doing 8.0 octa core. Look, looking good. Pace out.